Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are talking about that embedded PHP with HTML, which means that using PHP and HTML on the same page. Want to add, if you want to add the HTML and PHP file together while HTML and PHP are the two separate programming languages. But HTML is not considered as the programming language. This is a markup language, remember that. You might want to use both of them on the same page to take advantage of what they both offers. With one of one or both of these methods, you can easily embed HTML code in your PHP page to format them better, make them more user friendly. The method you close depends on your specific situations. Firstly, I will tell you about that the how to use the HTML and PHP together. Let's just see how we use it. Here you can see that this is HTML and this HTML here is my HTML tag. Hope so you understand now. Now this is the head tag. To this head tag means that inside this tag you have to provide or you have to write your title of the page. That what this page is for or what this uh, means this code is for. Okay. Here you can see that I just define the title, okay? And the title here is, let's suppose I am just writing this is embedded or here I just write that, uh, yes, okay, this is embedding PHP with HTML. And this is embedding PHP with HTML, okay? Here you can see that. This is just a title. When I just save this code, go to the browser, or here I just go to the browser right here and when I just run this code so you can see here you can find embedded at PHP with HTML hope so you understand now now here after this you can see that this is our header section now just come to the body section right here inside this body section I have to firstly write that this is h1 tag h1 means this is the heading number one tag so I just write that this lecture is for embedding PHP with HTML. Just save this code, go to the browser, refresh the page. So this is the H1 size of heading right here. Hope so you understand now. Now here, I just go back to the browser. Here I just write P for the paragraph right here. And I just said that this paragraph is for PHP and HTML together okay save the code and run the statement right here so you can see here this paragraph is for PHP and HTML together so yet so far I am using HTML only let's just add some of the mm, you may say that a PHP tags as well here I just write PHP okay and here I just write echo echo I just tell you that this is using for the output or you can say that this is using for the string output or any output as well here I just write P which is my HTML tag here and here I just write that this is lecture for PHP and HTML and then I have to close this code right here after closing the code right here, so this is in, uh, firstly I have to write this in a single quotation mark. And after that you can see here, and here you can see that this is the colon, semicolon, and then close this code right here. Save this, and then go to the browser, refresh this so you can see here, this is lecture for PHP and HTML right here. So you can also, give this statements to the h1 tag as well so here you can see that this is also h1 tag go to the browser refresh that so here it will not take this as yes okay this is a heading because uh, that will not take this as the h1 tag right here okay here you can see that you can also write the tag here before that here i just write b for the bold tag sorry this is 
the b tag right here and here i just write this is heading okay refresh so you can here you can see that this is the lecture for php and html right here you can see here i just bold this text here with the help of this b tag right here here you can see that how simple we are using html and php together so this is just a lecture on that embedding php and html together if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture